Hello friends, welcome, it's Rachel here, and today I am sharing a scrapbook video using the Maggie Holmes Parasol Collection, which is such a beautiful collection. I'm showing you what I'm working with here. Um, I have been playing with it a little bit. Um, you wouldn't have seen any videos of that here on YouTube, but I have been sneakily playing with it because it's such a cute collection, and I think it'll last me a long time, so I'm not worried about using things up. Um, Okay, so I showed you the product, products that I'm working with, and the the things that I'm looking through here are um, from that, like, giant ephemera pack. It has, like, 100 pieces or something for the design team. Um, Joy, the owner of Scrapbook Nerd, split um, that pack between me and another design team member because there are so many pieces. I can't believe I only got half of it because I feel like this will last me forever. Um... But I am starting with like a little like layered background. I think these cool like vintage looking pieces are just so fun and unique and something I haven't yet seen from a collection before. So it's kind of cool like book pages, music pages, I think like journal pages, really cool um, and can make really fun layered backgrounds and just like layers in general. They are very thin though, so they're not like regular ephemera, they're very thin. Um, so that's why I didn't try sewing on it. I'm sure it would sew fine, but I'm just scared to rip it because the pages are just so thin. Um, so I don't know if this is something different American Crafts is doing or what, but it's very interesting. Um, uh, but yeah, I like how this is coming together. I think it looks really cool and I love the light airy colors. It's very up my alley. Um, and I love the pinks, of course. So this is a picture of me and Remy when Remy was just a little baby kitten and try to work through these photos here and I'm getting there. I'm feeling good about things, but I know once, um, December comes around, um, I'm, I'm working on December daily that I might abandon my regular scrapbooking for a bit, but it's fine. It's all for fun and just having the joy of creativity, but I do want to have my memories documented. This little deer is so precious. It reminds me of old, old Maggie Holmes, um, and I just think it's so cute and so... I had to put it on this page because Remy is so precious and this deer is so precious, so it just came together. Um, and yeah, I think it's I think it kind of suits the page, even though it's kind of a random animal. I think like just the feeling of a deer and like the vibes and stuff kind of make it feel like dainty and cutesy and all of that. So that's why I thought the deer went well. And yeah, I don't know. I know random animals aren't really my thing, but this one just felt right. I'm looking through these, this pack of stationary stuff, but nothing really, nothing really would work with the layout that I already have going on. Maybe if I base it around one of those pieces in the beginning, but since I already have a page started, I didn't feel like anything fit. Um, I have the cardstock stickers here and these puffy kind of stickers. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for a title. I thought um, doing a pre-made title like this would make it much, much easier for me. So that's what I go with. And I thought the gold went really well with the pink. Um, I'd love to know if you have this collection. It is all available at Scrapbook Nerd. If you don't have this collection yet, it's so cute. Um, it's so pretty. And I'm really glad I got it. And in a second here, I'm going to grab the gold Liquitex ink, and uh, this is something I got from Scrapbook Nerd, and all I do is I grab, I have like a water spray bottle sitting on my desk, so I just grab a little bit of that water and a little bit of the ink and splatter on the page, because the ink is just a little bit too thick to be on its own, uh, but this is what I do, and it works perfectly fine for me, um, and obviously the gold is very pretty, and um, I, I don't know if you have gold Heidi Swap Color Shine. That has been discontinued for years, but I still have some bottles hanging around. Um, but those colors often leave, like, this weird, like, oil ring around the splatters. But that doesn't happen with this Liquitex ink, which is nice because, yeah, they leave, like, these really weird, like, oil splatters. I don't know, like, these rings around the splatter. It's really weird. Um... 
but anyway, these don't is what I'm trying to say. And they dry perfectly. So um, I really like, I really like it. Um, I kind of got stuck here. I got to a point where, yeah, I was just feeling stuck. Wasn't quite sure where my clusters were. I don't know. It just felt like kind of all over the place. Um, but we get there in the end. We get there. and I love how the layout turned out. But um, it's a lot of me like trying things out and looking through my pages and trying to see what will work. Um, going for the a lot of the um, pink things because it just would go with the vibes of my page. I love this little pack. It has, um, you can see I've basically used the entire thing already, but it has these like enamel buttons. It has these adhesive brads and then it has some uh, twine and uh, crepe paper that's sewn and um, what's the other thing it has? Um, oh my goodness, the word is escaping me, but you will see it in a second. Um, Sorry about that. It's still early in the morning, but I decided to use the crepe paper for the bottom here and I love the way that looks. I don't usually use a lot of like ribbons and and things like that on my layouts, but I think this looks really cute. Um, I was going to do it on the top too, but the top papers didn't line up, so I thought that would be a little little messy I don't know but I, I like it almost looks like it's like a shelf for all of my for my books or something like a little bookshelf or something so I don't know I like it and I think it just adds a fun different texture to my layout so I really like how that idea came about because yeah I, I don't know it's something different for me it's something a little bit yeah it's not my usual but I like it I think it works. And again, with all the pink, it kind of all comes together. Um, and yeah, just trying to figure out what kind of sprinkly bits I want to pour over the page. And you can see I was trying to figure out this cluster here, but oh, I just couldn't figure it out. Um, I was trying this flower. Like, I don't know. It wasn't working for me. But you will see that, I don't know, some people comment on my videos saying that I make it look easy. Um... And usually, well not usually, sometimes I cut parts out so you don't see it all because like sometimes it would just be a little bit boring. This video I didn't really cut anything out. I cut like one little part out because I was thinking. Um, but otherwise I didn't really cut much out. So you can see that I, I do, I am trying different things. It's not like the first piece I put down is the one that's perfect for the spot. I'm constantly trying different things to see what would look good. Um... So it's not like the first thing I put down is the one. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out this clustering here and I'm um, coming to the conclusion that it might not really be a complete cluster and that's okay. Um, but my favorite part of this layout is the deer and those precious little, I keep using the word precious, but it's really how I feel. Um, those little um, brads, adhesive brads. Oh, I just think they're so cute. Um, I actually have two packs of them, which I'm really glad about because I love them a lot. Um, I don't know. Simple Stories uses the adhesive brads as well in a lot of their collections. And I love them. I always go through them. They're like another way, another like form of having an enamel dot. And you can put really pretty like patterns from like the paper pads on it or something like that. So I really love the brads. Um, in all kinds of collections for scrapbooking and paper crafting in general. So I'm clearing my desk off here, grabbing these puffy stickers. I'm still thinking there's got to be something more I can add, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm happy the way it is. Why try and like fix it? So here we go. Here's the finished layout. All the links will be down below and thank you so much for watching. Bye.